My name is Michelle Grace Hunter and I'm a photographer and I work predominantly in the hip hop scene, um, both with local artists and international artists. <laughs> I fell into photography uh, kind of by accident about five years ago. So uh, I've had various different careers, um, not overly creative careers, but in entertainment and I've worked in marketing and I've worked in um, film and stuff like that. So about five years ago, my husband gave me a camera for Christmas. Um, he noticed that I liked to take photos at parties. Not seriously, just like, I like to document stuff and I always like to, be the first one to get photos up so people could remember the night really quickly. He noticed that about me and so he bought me a DSLR and um, yeah, I kind of just threw myself into it. Rise came about a kind of weird way actually. So when I started shooting portraits of Australian hip hop artists, it wasn't for anything in particular. It really was my way of um, getting to know who certain artists were and vice versa, getting um, artists to know who I was. So I was quite naive to the scene. I didn't know a lot of artists, but I really wanted to. So the actual idea came about when I had done a shoot with Grey Ghost and Mantra. Um, and it was, I think, the second time I'd met Grey Ghost and the first time I'd met Mantra. Um, and it was an awesome shoot and we just got along like a house on fire and they're like two of my best friends um, today. Like, we, we get along really well. And we were just talking after the shoot and they were saying, oh, what are you going to do with these photos that you're doing? And I was like, oh, maybe an exhibition. And they are like, nah, nah, you should do a book. <laughs> I was like, what? I was stoked to get 1200 Techniques in the book because they hadn't actually been together for a long time before this. Um, and now they're music, making music together again, so I feel a little bit responsible for that. <laughs> and they were like the first Australian hip hop group I ever liked, so that was super important for me to get them. I was so stoked. Very cool. There's a photo that I took of Faro Monch, which um, was on the cover of his latest release called Lost in Translation, which I took in December of last year. Um, and I love that for a few reasons. One, I just love Faro and I love working with him. Um, he's my favourite artist that I've ever worked with. He's become a really good friend of mine. Um, he just gets the creative process. He gets why imagery is really important when he told me that they'd chosen it for the album cover, I was yeah pretty blown away. It was a huge honour. So yeah, it's my favourite at the moment. In five years' time, I. To be honest, I'm not really sure. Like, it's changing all the time. I think 
A few years ago I had a very firm idea that I wanted to be Australia's most well-known hip-hop photographer and I really went after that goal and, and that's why I worked with so many people just so everyone knew who I was. Um, and now I think what I think to be more well known just across Australian music, so, so outside um, the Australian hip hop scene. Yeah, I'm doing, as mentioned, I'm doing a project um, on in the music scene uh, specifically focusing on Australian women um, and women that are currently making their mark on the Australian music scene. Um, again, really focusing on up and comers um, as well as the pioneers that have, um, I guess, paved the way for those people, those women now that are doing really great things and made it a little bit easier for those women. Um, and there's also a documentary attached to that, a filmmaker friend of mine, Claudia, is working with me on that. Yeah, hopefully work with some more really amazing artists and continue to develop my style and um, yeah.